Once we have done all the pre-processing, we are finally ready to move the classification of sequences to taxonomic units. The Chipster tool for classifying sequences to taxonomic units is based on the Motor tool classify six, and it uses the Wang method. This tool calculates the probability that a query sequence would be in a given taxonomy based on the k-mers that it contains. It uses bootstrapping to find the confidence limit of the assignment by randomly choosing one eighth of the k-mers in the query and the full silver reference set and its taxonomy file is used for the classification. The parameters allow you to remove unwanted lineages such as chloroplasts, mitochondria and so on. As an input file you give a FASTA file and a count table file and as output you get the sequences taxonomy assignment file which is the one you will use uh, for the later steps. So it contains the sequence name and the taxonomy. You also get a classification summary file, which indicates the number of sequences that were found at the different level of the taxonomy. And you get a FASTA and count table file of the uh, classified sequences. So the parameters look like this. You have the reference here. Then you can define the number of iterations for the bootstrapping. And you have several parameters for removing uh, various lineages. If you want to remove something else, you can enter the name here. And the output files look like this. So the first one here is the sequences taxonomy assignment file, where you have the name of the sequence and then the taxonomy assignment. And the classification summary file looks like this. Uh, so you have the different taxonomic levels and then the total number of sequences falling to each of these and how they are distributed across the different samples. <laughs> 